Hello everyone and welcome back to Brooke's Beauty Bazaar. My name is Brooke and in today's video I'm going to be showing you guys how I achieved this very easy to do Marilyn Monroe inspired look. So this makeup is fungal acne friendly. It is done with things that you probably already have lying around. At least I didn't have to buy anything for this look and no matter what hair color or length you have you can definitely achieve this curled style very easily. Just know that if you have darker hair obviously you won't look as much like Marilyn but you'll still look like a screen siren of the 50s and 60s, so who wouldn't want that? Roll the footage. So before I begin with this tutorial, I did just want to tell you guys a couple of the things that I am going to be using today. So if you don't have these items, just find something that's comparable. Any kind of a curling iron, if you have a regular curling iron, probably going to be a lot easier to use. I have this tapered one that I used for this look today. I also grabbed some pins. Now I have tons of these lying around because I'm in cosmetology school. I have tons and tons of accessories, a hair kit. So these clips actually were some that I just had lying around and they work with some of the rollers that I have. So I was able to employ these, but whatever you have will do the trick and you don't necessarily have to do that step. It just helps to maintain the look a lot longer. You'll see in the tutorial. In addition to those hair items, you're really just gonna need your basic makeup kit. So foundation, if you needed a little bit of concealer, and you're gonna need your neutral eyeshadow palette, whichever one you have. If you have grays and blacks, that's fine. And if you have browns, that is fine as well. I used a mixture. I obviously dipped into my Kevin Aquan palette for this because I use it for everything. And then the other thing that you're gonna wanna have, and this is kind of a no-brainer, but is a good red lipstick. I'm using my Flesh Matte Lipstick in the color brazen which is a super good red but whatever red that you have lying around is going to be perfect for this let's get into this all right guys so to start out i'm using bumble and bumble preta powder to add some extra volume to my roots and i normally do this on day old hair but i have freshly washed hair so this is really going to give me that extra volume and lift and also hold all right then i deeply parted my hair a la marilyn and sectioned it off so i could start working on my curls I took one inch sections and I wrapped them in on themselves or downward around the wand and every curl was done in the same direction this way. I hold it for a count of 10 and slide it off into its sausage roll, try to maintain that hollow shape and then pin it up, maintaining that shape again. And I do work from the top down of each section and then from the front to the back just because I have so much hair, it's a lot easier to manage it that way. Now, you're definitely gonna wanna let this sit, so you need to let it set up for about 30 minutes on average. I just let mine set up while I did my makeup, and honestly, it took me 30 minutes to get the makeup just so, um, plus a little extra, so it really had time to set up. And before I get onto my makeup, you do just wanna make sure that you add a generous layer of hairspray to get that extra hold to your hair, which I'm going to do in just a moment. All right, for makeup guys, I'm just gonna go in and apply a heavy-handed foundation. So I have my Dior Backstage Face and Body and I applied two full layers and then I went in and just covered my blemishes up with my NYX Can't Stop Won't Stop Concealer to give a really caked on base makeup a la Marilyn. And I'm going in with my Kevin Aquan Sculpting Book and I'm going to start sculpting out the eyes. Now, Marilyn's eyes were very heavy. You could see a lot of her lid and I have more hooded eyes. So it's gonna take me a lot longer to kind of achieve a similar-ish shape. And I'm just going in with the lightest color and then working my way up to the medium color during this process to really sculpt out that shape and kind of start to lift your eye at the outer corner because that's what they did for Marilyn's makeup because her eyes were so heavy, they were trying to lift them up. All right, and then make sure as you go along to just softly blend it out so it looks nice and polished when you're finished. 
Now I'm gonna take this lightest shadow that I had and I'm going to stipple that on the front two thirds of my eye, concentrated more at the inner corner to the middle because it'll give me a more bright looking actual eyelid that I don't really always have showing. And then as you can see, I'm going right back in to sculpting that eye. Marilyn had a very dark crease and contrasting looking eye. And that is how they also did her makeup. So they would have it dark in the crease and then really bright on her eyelid. I even go in with black shadow to just carve that extra bit out and to really define the eye shape. Now I'm going in with my MAC eyeliner and I'm going to start building out a slight cat eye effect just at the outer edge. This is really hard to do on hooded eyes and it's easier when you do it this way. And the other thing is, is Marilyn didn't really always have a full on cat eye. Hers was more of the shape and the hint of a cat eye to lift her heavy lids like I was telling you guys before. So I also blurred mine out with a blending brush and now I'm going to add a thin layer of mascara before adding falsies. Now I cut these down so that they would be concentrated on the outer two thirds of my eyes because Marilyn's eyes looked more like that in the picture that I referenced. And then I went ahead and applied those and added liner over the top to just seal the deal down. Now I'm gonna start carving out my lip with a lip brush and you just wanna focus on making your lips look really full so you'll probably need to overline and make your top lip bigger to match the fullness of your bottom lip or however you can even them out. I then went in and did add a beauty mark with my MAC eyeliner and now I am clearly taking out my hair. Now this part probably took me the longest. I started with this comb and I was brushing everything out, back combing a little bit in certain sections to kind of give it that shape. And this comb just wasn't doing the trick so I'm not sure that it's in this video but I do finally take a kind of rake brush and just really go to town getting these curls to loosen up a bit and take the shape of Marilyn's hair. And you really wanna focus on molding and sculpting the curls and laying them in the way that you want them to be. Get that really good curve on the parting and she had that, that was where it was very voluminous. And then you'll see I just keep going to town with this comb. If you want to here, you can also take your curling iron to define certain parts if you need to. I didn't end up needing to do that, but I think some people will. All done. All right, you guys. So we are completely finished with my Marilyn Monroe inspired look. Now, obviously, if you really wanted to take this up one more notch, you can add some blue eye contacts. I don't have any of those. I'm not really worried about it. I think it gets the point across. And another thing is, is you might just wanna play with your hair for a little bit um, during the process. I know that at first I was just trying to really scrape over the top layers and thinking that would be kind of most effective with a comb like this. However, I ended up grabbing kind of a brush like this and really raking through all of the curls because if you really look at Marilyn, there are some times when her curls are super tight, but a lot of the time hers are a little more undone truly in like especially at the bottom parts and they frame her face a little bit more. So you just might wanna play with it until you get it right. If you guys enjoyed this, make sure that you give it a thumbs up. If you guys wanna check out some of my favorite fungal acne friendly foundations. I'm going to link that video right now for you. And if you guys want to check out some of my favorite fungal acne lipsticks, I'm also going to link that in just a moment for you. And don't forget to come and say hi to me on Instagram over at Brooks Beauty Bazaar, where I hang out every single day. Happy birthday, Mr. Mm. President. I don't think that's how she's saying it at all.